got a new tank. So many choices. But understanding that your reef tank is much like your body. For those of you who have tattoos, you understand that real estate is so important. Because you only can put so many tattoos before you run out of real estate. Primary like your chest, your arm, your shoulders. What do you put there? Do you just put the regular, just running the mill American flag? Or do you use that opportunity to put something dynamic, something eye-catching, something masterful piece? Because, well, it's once used, it's gone. Much like a reef tank. When you first get a reef tank, you go to your local LFS, LFS and you see $10 corals, $9 corals, $9.99 frags, $19.99 frags. Oh, you might, you might just get, you might just get a little and bunctuous and $29 frag. Everything is beautiful. You're exposed to this other world of bright, vibrant colors, all shown under blue light, pulsating in the in its current. And oh my gosh, I gotta get those GPS. Not knowing that, well, they could take over your tank. Oh, look at those polys right there. Well, those polys are very evasive. Ooh, look Look at that bright green and that bright orange and that bright, yeah. Then you buy and you buy and you buy. You go home and you and then you, you, you learn that you can get dollar store glue. As long as it's gel and you start gluing it to your rocks and then, and then doing great. Your tank's going off great and you got a lot of these inexpensive corals. I mean, for 100 bucks, you, you see a deal. 15 for 100. Oh, so you buy all these different. LPSs and just very common but beautiful coral and you put them in your tank and then they grow and they grow now you become an experience and you start to realize oh, I, the coral I got is because once you start realizing what you have and start getting more in, in, into the into the run of things you think well these are just common corals I want, I want to challenge myself so I want to get some of the more high end uh, polys. Or let, let me try Ganapur or let me just go with a torch now. How, how about I go some SPS? But guess what? You don't have any room. See, the same effort it took to grow those more expensive curls that you're now looking for takes to maintain those small curls, them inexpensive curls, them, them what they consider low beginner curls. And don't get me wrong, these are beautiful. But understand your reef tank and your rock structure is much like your body. You limit the space. So what I tell guys, when you're first starting off, keep in mind the bigger picture. You want a mixed reef? Well, mixed reef can be what? Ephelia. It could be torches. It could be scolies. It could be uh, um, uh, just a, a myriad of tons of different coral and they all have one thing in common. They grow. You want to take a frag from a small piece to a colony. Right? So don't get caught up like I did. My first reef tank, I went out there and I just stocked it. Oh, my God. It had colors. Ran everything under a tinic blue. Back then, there was, I had highlight metal highlights and I had tubes. I had fluorescent tubes. and I used to run them under 10. I think it was like... 10,000 K bulbs and one metal highlight. My tank was just a big box of Windex glowing full of all type of uh, 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 encrusting corals and, 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 and G, GSP and and, and, and and just anything I can get that was back then it was 10 for 80 bucks and just grew. And the time I realized that everything grew and then I start having problems and stuff start fighting with each other and then my my GSP took over the tank and then I quickly realized that whatever it touched it just took over you had to isolate it and then, and then I, well I went to a store I saw this big leather and I'm like, I love to have that leather but I don't have room for it and, and then, then oh I love to have that 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 that, that SPS but I want, I want to try I want to try this I, I want to try some slime rubber I don't have room for it. Then you go back to your tank and then you have these big, beautiful, common coral that you've grown from frags. And what do you do with them? You know, you, the, the, the LFS won't take them because, well, you know, they're common frags. You know, they won't give you a little or nothing if they do take it. And you can't sell it because, well, it, it's, it's a common frag. So, you know, what I, what I think what I'm trying to say is, guys, you need to plan. What, you, what I would suggest you do 
is that in the beginning, of course, you want to test your tank. So you get you a couple of nice corals from candy canes or something like that, and you test your tank. And then you be patient, and then you grow out your tank. And then eventually, as you go on, you start stacking inventory and, 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 the, and the stuff in your tank with the outcome of your final vision. And most of us don't know it. That's why you need to take some planning, right? And then, and then, maybe buy a little more expensive coral and try it out. Get your water conditions because as your tank mature, you keep things better. And then, then go back. Then you shop with a $10 rack. Then you shop in the discount corals and use them as fillers. And then pinpoint certain colors that's missing in your palette. In other words, you got, you know, you got some it's red dragon and you, and you got some Duncans and, and then you got some Slimer. You know, it's a whole lot of green in this particular area. Then maybe you can go back to that nine ten dollar bin and then find something that contrasts with like a like a yellow Monty or something. Something that's really, you know, inexpensive, you know, fast growing that'll give you that color pop you're looking. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, man, is that from the beginning, if I knew then what I know now, I would have bought the biggest tank I can. Biggest tank I can. Now the initial cost is a lot more, but in the long run, it pays off. And then what I would have did, I would have really, just really kind of stepped back and studied, you know, exactly what I want the outcome to look. Find a tank online that you kind of like and mimic it, right? And then, if possible, don't go by the, the SPS store. SPS should probably should be the last thing you add to your tank, because you want your tank to be mature. But at least section it off to how you like it. And then start with your slow growing, slow growing, least expense corals, or shop for a color of the most common coral. You're gonna notice that most of your nine dollar corals are, are some type of variant of green, right? They're dark green, light green, whole lot of orange and pink. But when you start getting to the yellows, the reds, the purples, the violets, and and and, and the bright. Uh, the, the tails, the teals and tan blues, then you start noticing price increases. So start off with the lesser coral. Just as some advice, guys. I'm just telling you that, you know, I, I, I pretty much had a 110-gallon tank full of, for lack of a better word, boo-boo. I had beautiful corals that nobody wanted. So what do you do? I raised these. These are my babies. So I had to buy a separate tank because I just didn't have the heart to tear this down. And no one could take it. Now, of course, I got rid of some of my larger pieces like I had really big slimer or something like that and I was able to frag it off to guys and give it but unfortunately you know what I gave it to other guys that were starting to tank that didn't know any better right so just keep that in mind guys real estate real estate real estate when you place that coral there you place it there with the attention of it growing spreading and prospering and becoming from a frag to a colony keep in mind that there's a reason that coral is nine dollars all right og reefs and aquariums please subscribe like below and uh just remember man you got to treat this this real estate because remember one thing you gotta keep in mind is that we're keeping water one of the side effects of maintaining good water is that you're able to grow coral okay so put the water parameters first you put invest the initial money into a solid backbone system you just need, you know, uh, some good flow, good salt, a good skimmer, decent lights. Then start slow and grow with your 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 coral, because you're going to soon to find out that you can end up like me having a supplement and calcium, magnesium, all for a tank of just regular stuff. Oh, deep aquariums. I'm out.